How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this Davy Jones key from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. I'll briefly touch on the 3D printing and finishing of this piece, but the main focus of this video is going to be the paint job, including the technique I came up with to get this perfect texture for that corroded metal look. You could absolutely do this whole entire project in one day if you wanted to. Go over to Thuniverse, download the file, and print it out. I had a 0.6mm nozzle so I printed it in just under an hour. After I took the raft off, the piece looked like this. Now in a lot of my videos, I cover how I finish 3D parts, so I'm just going to breeze through it on this one. The main premise here is going to be, give that initial sand, cover the piece in filler primer, add Bondo to it to fill in all those gaps, sand that Bondo down, do another layer of filler primer, sand that filler primer, add Bondo again, sand that down, and then do another coat of filler primer. You're going to repeat this process until you're happy with the finish that you get. You can see that after multiple layers, even with Bondo, down there where the raft was touching the piece, it still wanted to make a hole, so I just continued to fill it and sand it until it was good. While Bondoing, keep those tight areas of the key clean by using the raft that you printed the part on and just scraping it in between before the Bondo dries. I gave it one last coat of filler primer that I didn't sand down, just to get a nice texture right there at the end before I started my paint. Alright, it is time for the paint job. Initially I was going to use a mix of all three of these sprays on the exterior of the key, just to kind of give it a worn look, but I ended up just sticking with that metallic paint. Now this is not the metallic finishing from rust -Oleum. this is that ultra cover paint and primer metallic. This is how our key looked after that initial paint. Now I've seen a lot of people finish it like this, because it's really hard to get a good glimpse of the key in the movie. But the Flying Dutchman is nasty and corroded and disgusting, so I wanted this key to look absolutely beat to hell, and match that aesthetic. For being such an important prop in the movie, I wish they gave this thing more screen time. I think the key would be more legendary in the prop community if they did. Here's how we're gonna get that calcified, corroded, metallic look. Get your Bondo back out. Now, I recommend using gloves when you do this, but if you wash your hands quickly, it's fine. I had ran out of gloves. We're gonna go all around the key, dabbing with our finger with that Bondo to give it a very stippled, rough, bumpy look. You can see that here in this close-up. Now, if you finish this key the same way that I'm choosing to do here, you definitely don't need to give that initial coat of metallic. The only reason I did is I was planning on finishing the key like that, but I just didn't really like the look, and I want it to look way rougher. You want a random, stippled look, leaving some areas bare, but most of it covered in rough, stipply bondo. Off camera, I hit the key with that same metallic paint again, just to freshen it up. This is what it looks like with that texture underneath. We're going to be doing layer over layer of different colored paints on top of each other. When salt water corrodes metal, sometimes blue tones can show up, so I'm starting with this aqua teal type color, and just lightly dabbing it in random areas all over the key. Once we layer up multiple other layers of paints over this, this will be a very subtle effect. I'm also going to change the tone of this blue a little bit, and then dot some more areas right next to the ones that I'd previously done, just to make sure there's not any consistent colors. Weathering never happens in one consistent color, so you want to mix up tones all over the place as much as you can. With that layer done, it's time to do our first layer brown. The main five colors I'm going to use for this are Raw and Burnt Sienna, Mars Black, and Raw and Burnt Umber. To get this paint job right, we're going to stipple our colors all around the key in random areas. I believe this first layer was mostly raw umber with a little bit of burnt umber mixed in. After I had that layer looking nice, I darkened it up with some Mars Black and went back through. I also used an old rag to wipe off any excess that I felt like was overkill. I then darkened it up even more and went back through again. Next, I wanted to get some splotchy rust all over the key. The best rust color out there is burnt sienna, so we're just gonna be dabbling that all over the key in areas we feel like would be rusty. I'm using that same old rag just to dim those colors down a little bit where I feel like it's too bright. This is how our key was looking after those first few layers. It's looking pretty good, but it's a little bit too contrasty and dark. And I feel like this thing should be a lot more faded. So I made some gray wash where I just watered down a bunch of gray acrylic paint. And then I went through and painted that all over the key, wiping it back off. And I believe I ended up doing two gray washes over this thing.
The key's looking pretty good, but in those areas where we still have the bare metallic showing through, all of our washes have really killed the shine. So I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of rub and buff and a toothpick and go back over our exposed metallics just to bring that shine back. Do as many layers of varying colors as you think you need. After all those paint layers and wash layers, this is what we ended up with, and I'm pretty happy with it. To take our prop to the next level, we're gonna go over to Amazon and get some of this leather strip cording. Now I got five yards of it for $7, so I could do plenty of props or other things with the rest of it very cheaply. I tried to look at references to see how long this cord should be. Once I got the length I wanted, I simply cut it and saved the rest for another project. This thing's really nice, but it's much too clean for my liking. So I'm gonna be weathering this thing as well. We're gonna start with a raw umber wash and then also go into a Mars Black Wash. I'm kind of just randomly mixing all these liquids together, because the dirtier the better. I take my watered down acrylic paints and brush it all over this leather strip, allowing the leather to just soak it all right up, and then I wipe the excess off. Do as many wash layers as you feel like you need. I started off pretty dark and added a little bit of brown spag into it with some burnt umber. There are lots of ways you can choose to weather something like this, but I stuck with acrylics. After that, simply loop it through and tie a knot at the end, and you've got a nice replica from Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. This is a super easy prop that can be done super cheaply in a day. If you guys do this one day build, leave a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram. Hit like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.